Thank you, Mike. San Antonio police are trying to figure out who and what led up to a man being shot on the city's northeast side. Officers tell us that it happened after 7 last night on Morristown Drive near I-35 and O'Connor Road. Officers also tell us that the man shot is not being cooperative with that investigation. We do know he was taken to the hospital to be treated and that his injuries were non-life-threatening. In your other morning headlines, a federal appeals court will not reinstate President Biden's vaccine mandate for federal employees as it reviews a lower court's order putting it on hold. A decision by the U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals, Fifth Circuit, U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals, rather, on Wednesday potentially sets the stage for the case to go to the Supreme Court. One of the three judges dissented. In his dissent, the President Obama appointee wrote, quote, the only court that can now provide timely relief is the Supreme Court, end quote. The two majority judges were appointed by Presidents Reagan and Trump. The mandate has been halted nationwide since a preliminary injunction in January that was issued by a Trump-appointed judge. Former Alaska Governor Sarah Palin took the witness stand Wednesday in her defamation trial against the New York Times. Now, Palin sued the Times and its former editorial page editor back in 2017 over an editorial published earlier that year in the wake of a shooting at a baseball practice in D.C. Now, the shooting left Representative Steve Scalise and other members of Congress injured. A former editor testified that he made edits to the paper's editorial erroneously, adding that there was a clear link to a map circulated by Palin's political Political Action Committee and the deadly shooting that injured former Arizona Congresswoman Gabrielle Giffords in 2011. He said he has regretted the error in the five years since the piece was published. This morning, the U.S. auto industry continues to deal with supply issues and chip shortages, and now prices for new cars are soaring. So what can buyers do and what's the opportunity if you want to sell your car? Here's ABC's Ariel Rochef. With soaring demand, microchip shortages, and supply chain issues, buying a new car has never cost more. The average price of a new car in December was a record-breaking $47,077. That's nearly $6,000 more than a year before. And some dealers are selling new cars well above the sticker price. In fact, industry experts saying 82% of new vehicle purchases in January were above the manufacturer's suggested retail price. If you're out there, you have paid over sticker price, you're definitely not alone. The overwhelming majority of new car shoppers are also doing the same. Ford says about 10% of their 3,000 U.S. dealerships are doing it. And in an earnings call last week, CEO Jim Farley warning them to stop. We don't like making a customers wait, and we're taking action to ensure that they don't pay unreasonable markups. GM also threatening action against the small minority of bad actors selling at rates far in excess of sticker prices. For automakers trying to keep their market share and their customers happy, this is something that they may think about enforcing. Both companies saying if those dealers continue inflating prices, they could withhold shipments of new cars. And experts tell us there is a silver lining in this wild car market. If you own a car, trade-in values have risen 50% year over year, so your car could be worth more than you paid for it, even if it's up to 10 years old. Ariel Reshef, ABC News, New York. Yeah, I saw Facebook, one of our viewers post on Facebook the other one of those instances where he paid less for a 22, uh, 2022 model Toyota RAV4 uh -huh. than the used one sitting in the used lot. He paid less for the new one than the used one. Really? Yes. That is interesting. That that I mean, that never used to happen. Well, and I know, and we've been talking about how these used car values have been so inflated in the yeah. last couple of years, and that trend is now continuing. Hmm, I think I just want to hold off buying a car altogether. Well, we talked to what an, an expert a couple yeah. weeks ago and said, if you can, don't buy a car anytime soon unless it's absolutely necessary. 436, about 41 degrees.